The Milford Duck Pond, a beautiful place to go for a walk or take prom photos, wedding photos, but below the surface, not so great. As you can imagine, the duck pond is full of birds, and now the city is beginning to dredge the small bodies of water. Yeah, News 8's Renee Schmiel joins us live now in News 8 Control with why this is a tricky project. Renee. And Darren, the city will start dredging the North Duck Pond in the next week or so. And crews will have to fix some retaining walls, and it won't be an easy project. But the geese that are already there making a mess aren't making it any easier. Milford is known for its duck ponds. <laughs> Though they may look nice, what's underneath the surface isn't so pretty. And in some areas, all that silt and debris is making its way to the surface. Right now, you see ducks walking on the water. Eventually, the sediment goes over the final waterfall at Stonebridge and goes into the harbor, and that's where it gets very uh, troublesome. The city will start dredging the North Duck Pond first, then move on to the pond next to City Hall and finish with the pond by Stonebridge. Workers will have to work around the waterfalls and the older trees. The ponds are also home to wildlife, and crews will have to work around that, too. We do love those uh, barnyard geese. But we have a lot of Canadian geese that are really mucking up the works. We've tried a lot to get rid of them. Those animals do make a mess in the water and on the land nearby. The city will be removing about 15,000 cubic yards of material just from the three ponds downtown. It'll then test the material to make sure it's safe. It could be organic. In other words, it could be almost like a topsoil type of component that they could reuse. The ponds haven't been dredged in about 40 years, so the $2 million project is needed. The hope is that when it's done, the ponds won't have to be dredged for another 40 years. But if that material isn't removed now, it could travel downstream and create even more problems. They've also uh, passed silt and debris all the way out into the head of our harbor. If there's money left, the city will also dredge the Eisenhower Park Pond, and the entire project is expected to be finished within a year. Live in the newsroom, Renee Schmiel, News 8.